Greetings friends and family. Thanks for checking out this video on how to improve performance running Airlink for Oculus Quest 2. This video is for you if you're still encountering performance issues when connected to Airlink and maybe my settings that I have on my laptop that I'll share with you guys on this video will help you. With all that being said, let's get to the video. Keep in mind I don't have the most powerful laptop, however it does fit the requirements to run VR even with Airlink. There are certain games that are more demanding than others, but generally speaking, despite having limited specs on my laptop, a number of titles work flawlessly with Airlink. Here are the specs for my laptop. I have an ASUS Republic of Gaming with an Intel i7-7700HQ CPU at 2.8 GHz. I also have a GTX 1070 in the laptop. Also. I have an AX1800 TP Link router. As a prerequisite to use Airlink, these items are the ones that you will need a VR ready PC, an Oculus Quest 2, Oculus app on your PC, Steam with Steam VR, which is optional, a Wi Fi 6 router running 5 GHz, and obviously games and applications. This video is going to navigate through all the settings from Oculus Quest 2. The reason for this are because some applications can only be accessed through the headset and or with the headset connected. So I'm going to try to keep the video as steady as possible and also have the info in the description below. The first step is to make sure that you've done everything to set up Airlink by using the Oculus website to get instructions to install Airlink. Once you have all that taken care of, one of the things to consider is the possibility virtual desktop could be affecting Airlink or vice versa. I don't have virtual desktop on my laptop in my Quest 2, so I can't speak on that behalf. However, it is something to consider because some people have encountered that both applications, when installed for the headset, could cause issues. So just keep that in mind. Make sure any other active applications are closed. Since VR can be very demanding on your PC's hardware, for example, at most, if I'm playing a multiplayer game, I will have Discord open so I can talk with other players. Otherwise, I don't have browsers open, not even LibreOffice or OBS. So typically, the only applications I have running on the PC are the Oculus app, Steam with Steam VR, and whatever games and applications is running. And because I'm doing this video, I have a browser open. Pull up your Oculus Launcher while wearing the headset by pressing the small concave button on your right hand with your thumb. You'll be greeted with the Explore window and a small arch with a series of different menu items. Let's go to Settings, which is the gear icon. As you can see, I have anti-aliasing and panel rendering on. You can change these settings that can help improve performance, however, you may sacrifice some quality. Let's go to the Oculus Airlink icon located on the far left on the arch. I set it to dynamic 200 megabits per second. Okay, let's go to the desktop. Let's go to the Oculus app, go under devices, and as you can see, I have the settings at 90 hertz and a render resolution of 3264 by 1648. And finally, let's go to the Steam VR settings and under general, you can see that my refresh rate is at 90 Hz. Render resolution is set to auto. Advanced super sampling filtering is on. Overlay quality is set to auto and high. There are a few additional things though that you want to keep in mind, which are the updates on your HMD, graphics card and processors. The headset's distance from the router possible reflective surfaces messing with cameras, not enough light, or the PC not being wired directly to the router. Did any of these settings that I have on my laptop help with improving performance with your setup? Please let me know in the comments below. To help the YouTube algorithms, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching.